In this box are the DZO Film Catazoom Cine Lenses from DZO Film. <sighs> Let's get into them. The DZO Cata Zooms have been out for a while now, and they have really gained attention for their versatility and affordability in the cinema lens market. But how do they perform? What do they really like to use? We've tested these lenses in various scenarios to give you an in-depth review. I will preface this video by saying I did not receive any money for this review. DZO did, however, supply me with these lenses for a month and a little extra time to review them put them through their paces and give you my honest feedback. I will make sure to do just that and not hold back any punches if they do deserve it. So with that said, let's get into the review. The DZO Cata Zooms come in three focal length options, the 18 to 35, the 35 to 80, and the 70 to 135. They all have a constant aperture of T2.9, minimum focus breathing, and a 240 degree focus throw. The build quality is robust with a metal body and geared focus rings. Oh, and they are also parfocal, which we'll get to that in a little while. Let me talk about the image quality first. One of the things you'll notice is the great sharpness these lenses offer. Even when wide open at T2.9, the center of the image is impressively sharp and the sharpness holds well towards the edges even at T5.6 to T11. Lenses maintain constant sharpness across the entire zoom range, which you can see here, and is a huge advantage when you need versatility without compromise. The color rendition is another highlight. The Cata Zooms produce natural, true-to-life colors, with just a hint of character, making them a great choice for projects where color accuracy is crucial and you want a more cinematic look, but not overdoing it. A crucial aspect for us is how a lens renders skin tones, and the DZO Cata Zooms handle this beautifully. These lenses offer natural and true-to-life skin rendition, ensuring that our subjects look as realistic and flattering as possible. Whether it's in natural light or a studio setup, the Cata Zooms maintain consistent and accurate skin tones. Take this shot for instance right here. This is shot with no lights and no bounce. This is just out in the outside and you can really see that the colors look great. I mean, this is just with a, a simple grade over it. And in this shot, you can see the hands, the you know, plastic welding right there. These are underneath fluorescent lights. I matched white balance, obviously in camera, but they're under fluorescent lights in the shop and, um, and it renders skin tones beautifully. They do a great job uh, rendering skin tones and color in general. Bokeh is another aspect where these lenses excel. The out of focus areas are smooth and aesthetically pleasing, which is great for achieving that cinematic look. If you really want that good depth of field. The 16 blade aperture contributes to a round and soft bokeh. In low light conditions, these lenses perform great. With minimal loss in image quality, chromatic aberration is well controlled with very little color fringing, even in high contrast scenarios. Overall, the image of the DZO Cata Zooms is pretty outstanding, especially when you consider their price point. They deliver a cinematic look that really does rival much more expensive lenses and are versatile enough to handle a wide range of shooting scenarios with the focal ranges that they come in. At first glance and even upon further inspection, these lenses feel robust and well-constructed. They have a solid metal construction that gives them a premium feel. The weight and size are substantial, which is typical for cinema lenses, especially cine zooms. While this adds to their durability, it is something to consider. If you're used to lighter lenses, or if you're operating on handheld or gimbal setups for extended periods of time, they are each 3.5 pounds and 8.4 inches in length. So you will know this lens is there when using it. The focus ring, and zoom rings are smooth with just the right amount of resistance for precise control. 
This is crucial for us who rely on small, precise manual adjustments. There is very little play to this lens when not using a lens support, but with the weight of it, I do recommend using one either on the supplied foot that they come with, or some sort of lens support that you can get aftermarket, or your matte box on the front controlled or uh, hooked up to rails. The DZO Cata Zooms are really well built, feeling solid and dependable in your hands. They're a bit heavier, but that's pretty normal for lenses of this quality. They hit the sweet spot between being tough, easy to use, and affordable. This makes them a smart choice for a lot of us who want good quality without spending a fortune. The key feature of the DZO Cata Zooms that deserves its special mention is that they are parfocal. For those who might not be familiar, a parfocal lens maintains focus when you zoom in and out. This is a big deal, especially in video production. With these lenses, you can zoom during a shot and stay confidently in focus without the need for constant readjustment. This is a feature typically found in way more expensive cinema lenses. So having it in an affordable package, like the DZO Cata Zooms, is a huge plus for us looking for the you know, best bang for our buck. Whether you're shooting an interview, dynamic scene, or even wildlife, the parfocal nature of these lenses means less worrying about focus shifts and more focus on getting the shot right. It's a feature that adds a lot of flexibility and efficiency to your shooting process. Overall, the parfocal capability of the DZO Cata Zoom sets them apart in their category. It's a feature that elevates their usability, practicality for video work, making them an even more valuable tool for filmmakers who need that reliability and performance without stretching our budgets. Getting into the price and budget of lenses, DZO offers flexibility whether you're looking to buy a single lens or a complete set. Individually, you can get the 35 to 80 and the 70 to 135 lenses, each for $2,469. If you need something wider, the 18 to 35 lens is available for $3,229. For those looking to cover most shooting situations, the two lens kit is priced at $4,769. This includes the 35 to 80 and the 70 to 135. The ultimate package is the three lens kit, as you see here, which comes in at $6,999. This kit includes all three lenses, the 18 to 35, 35 to 80, and the 70 to 30, 135, and comes with this awesome hard case with custom cutouts for each lens. Not only does this kit give you an extensive range of focal lengths, but it also ensures your gear is well protected and organized. So whether you're just starting and picking one lens or gearing up with the whole set, these prices position the DZO Cata Zooms as competitively priced options in the cinema lens market. They strike a balance between quality and affordability, making them accessible for a wide range of us content creators and filmmakers. Let's spotlight some other impressive features of the DZO Cata Zooms that deserve a mention before we wrap up. These lenses also boast a 77 millimeter filter diameter, making it convenient to use a wide range of filters without needing special adapters. This is great for us who frequently use many different kinds of thread on filters. Then with the 80 millimeter front diameter, there is compatibility with standard matte boxes and other accessories. Moreover, they cover full frame sensors ensuring compatibility with a wide range of cameras and maximizing their usability across different camera systems. And a final noteworthy point, these lenses are designed with a focus on reducing focus breathing, which is a big plus for us video shooters who need to pull focus without changing the composition of our shots. All right, let's wrap this thing up. That's our review of the DZO Cata Zooms for the Sony E-mount cameras. Whether you're considering a single lens or the complete set, these lenses are worth a look, especially if you're on the hunt for cinema quality optics without the hefty price tag. As always, we do recommend testing them out for yourself just to see how they fit into your workflow and meet your specific needs. Thank you so much to DZO Film for lending me these lenses to use on my projects over the last month. And thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys got something from this. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions on these guys. I'll be sure to get back to you on them. Maybe hit that thumbs up button if you liked what you saw, if you got something from this. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.